Welcome to Productivity in Real Life. This is our Working with Evernote series and more specifically our Working with Evernote version 10 series. There's a, a lot of changes that have happened since uh, what we'll now call the Evernote legacy version and uh, a lot of people are, are frustrated and confused with perhaps how Evernote 10 has either done away with certain features uh, that we're hoping certainly come back or how they've sort of just changed or perhaps even hidden a few different features. So today I just wanted to uh, give you a quick rundown on making table of content notes in Evernote 10 and uh, it's, it's actually quite simple. It's just been hidden a little bit. Uh, you can see here this is a table of content notes. This is my October review and I actually have a table of content uh, note that shows everything that I've done as a new note during the month of October. And as I record this, it's October 27, so I've still got a few days left in the month, but uh, one of my plans is to show you how to do exactly just this. This actual note here is actually automated, uh, but we'll touch base on that on a uh, different episode. So watch for that in the next day or two. Uh, for now though, we want to just create a basic table of contents notes. And uh, I've got a prior episode up, uh, if you look in some of the history, on making a table of content notes in Evernote. Uh, so the, uh, the actual workflow th is on that note, or on that video, sorry, is a little bit different nowadays. And we'll just sort of quickly go over creating a table of content notes. To do that, I just want to or, or why you would do that is to basically group a collection of notes together. Uh, it can be, well, they don't even have to be a collection of notes. They can be random notes that you just want to have accessible on a page. One reason for that is perhaps a dashboard note here. And give this thing a second to load the dashboard note. This is a collection. Each one of these pages here, or each one of these items, is a note uh, in my Evernote system. It may be a note just about whatever's on here, like to-do might just go to a page full of to-dos, or it might go to a secondary note that again is like a table of contents. So I might have under my to-do, uh, I might have a listing of here's the groceries I need to get this week. So click this when you go to a new page and here's my grocery list for the day, for the, uh, for the week. Another to-do item in here might again link to a different note that's here's my to-do items around the house for winter winterizing or winter prep sort of thing but let's uh, let's pick one here down here everybody's favorite beer and what that is is a table of content notes content note that gives me a list of all the craft beer sampling that I've done I've got a little header image here uh, beer sampling results and I've got a reminder on here that for anything to be included on this note, I want to tag it beer sampling. And uh, I've created a little bit of a, a format here that I want to try and follow about my note formatting. Beer sampling, yes, no, maybe, the beer name, the brewery, alcohol percentage, and any other notes. I don't always follow it very clear, but eh, to the most part I have here. And yes, this is pretty much correct here. My last beer sampling, uh, 2019, 1231. Yeah, I've been on a bit of a fitness kick and uh, alcohol is not a component of any of my uh, intake anymore. So now it's switched to coffee. But let's just go ahead and recreate the beer sampling table of contents. First thing, uh, or at least what I'm going to show you, is like I've said here, to include in, in my note here, I want to make sure everything is tagged as beer sampling. And we'll touch base more on tags in a future edition. Not sure what that was about, but we'll touch more on tags in a, uh, in a future episode here about best use, uh, or best cases, best ways to use tags. I wouldn't want to just tag something beer because I might have a thousand notes in my Evernote system that all have the word beer in them. Uh, so now if I just do a search on beer, well, I'm going to get those thousand notes. But if I have a 
more unique word, in this case beer sampling as all one word, I can find it quickly and easily through tags. So let's just, we'll force the system to find just our beer sampling notes. So we'll go tag beer sampling. And you'll see Evernote offers up a bunch of su suggested notes. These all have beer sampling in them. Something in my current household uh, that's got to do with beer sampling as well. But we want to clean up a few things about our search here because it's not doing exactly what we want. First, if you'll notice, offline. It thinks we're in our offline notebook only. So let's just go back. All notes. So now you'll see all notes up here. Now let's try that again. Now I didn't even type in tag colon beer sampling to force it. I just typed in beer sampling. Add filter. It automatically has found our beer sampling tag on here. So it wants to know do you want to add that as a filter. We click on it to force a filter on all of our notes to this tag called beer sampling. Search results. 22 notes found. And here they all are. Another way you can do this, and we'll just hit the little X here, close that filter off. We're back to all notes, 47,000 of them. Come over to the little filter symbol, click Add Filter, and now in here you can use a drop down list to select the, the, uh, the tag you want. So if I start typing the word beer, Oh, it's automatically found beer sampling. Do you want to use this tag? And we'll just hit the little checkbox there to turn that on. We could go ahead and combine it with other uh, other tags on here if we wanted to, but we're not going to bother because it's not applicable. We're back. 22 notes all found, so that's great. It's the same search. Just have a quick gander through there. We can click each note if we wanted to. And yes, my Evernote system is a little sluggish on this computer, which I'm not happy about, but it's still usable. Again, here's another one. And again, wait a little bit for the image to load. But you can see they're all in, in here. To create now a table of contents, because let's say I want to have a summary note about all my beers, I can click on the first note. We're in our note list over here so we can hold control and then the A key to select all of those notes. 22 notes selected. You could also just click certain ones and this is done by holding the control key clicking only the ones you want or clicking again if it's been highlighted if you don't want it. You can scroll down, select some more. So now we've got six notes uh, selected here. But let's just go ahead. We'll do our Control A. We'll select them all again. 22 notes selected. Now you want to click the three little dots over here. Uh, you could move all of your notes. You could edit the tags associated with all of these notes. You could merge all of these notes. You could delete all of these notes if you wanted, but we want more action. So we'll click these three dots. Click. Again, you can do the same things that you can here. You could also export just these notes. I just did this earlier today with, uh, with a few notes here that I no, no longer need in Evernote, but I do want to keep them just in case. But what we're looking for is a table of contents. Evernote version 10 doesn't tell you table of contents. What you can do though is create a copy of the internal links. So we will click on that. 22 links are copied. Now what we want to do is we're just going to go to our inbox. And my inbox is simply my default notebook that I have unsorted stuff in and we are going to create a new note so click beer sampling summary just the title of our note and start writing so this is just a note this is my beer sampling summary 
up until when I stopped drinking beer. December, oops. And I can't spell today. December 31st, 2019. We'll just dress it up. We'll throw in a horizontal line, divider line. This is my beer sampling summary. Let's just highlight that with pink. Why not? And you'll remember that Evernote copied those links. So those are now in your clipboard. All we need to do is right click paste. Give it a moment and here now is all of the links of all those notes that you just copied and pasted from before. We can highlight all those notes, we can add bullet boxes beside them, we can number them, we could add a checkbox because perhaps we want to review these and uh, clean up maybe the titles or something like that. So we could then come in and put a checkbox in beside what we've got done. If you wanted to, we're in that checkbox mode, we could reorder these. So the ones that I've said yes to that I want to have again, I can grab those little handles and I can move those around. Yes. Yes. Move those all up there just like so if you wanted to. And that now is our table of contents note. So like I said, you select your notes and you would then hit those three dots. So let's actually, we'll just run by, run through that again. I did say I am uh, doing coffee now instead of beer. Uh, we'll go back to all notes. Let Evernote do a little bit of a catch up here. Add filter, it automatically has found some references here that uh, some relevant searches, individual notes, or different filters that we might be able to apply. And in this case, it's showing the little tag symbol. Coffee tasting, we'll click. 19 notes found in this case. So here's all my different coffee samples. We can control A, select all of those, 19 notes selected, go over to the three dots, click, copy internal links. We'll go back to our inbox, create a new note, and we'll just put a reminder here and be sure to tag notes as coffee tasting for future reference. So we're going to go right click and then paste and that should paste in all of our coffee tasting notes. So here you are here again you can now change those if you wanted. We'll select the group. We'll add some check boxes beside them. Uh, let's maybe make them bigger. Anything you want to do you can do in your Evernote note editor now. Clicking on each one will take us to the individual note. It is a currently a double click process. Uh, click once you'll get this little pop up here so you could actually edit the link if you wanted to uh, unlink it. Uh, but we'll click and this is the power of a table of content note page because now we've got the summary here. We just click and we'll immediately go to that particular note or in the case of Evernote 10 we'll load for a, a second or two here and then up it comes so in this case it's just a simple image of the coffee that I was drinking and maybe some thoughts so that is that is it that is how to create a table of content note in Evernote version 10 hope you enjoyed that be sure to like subscribe and of course share like I say, yes, subscribe to the channel. We've got lots more coming up on getting the most out of Evernote 10. And uh, I'm going to try and bring you guys uh, and gals and everybody else 
the latest in Evernote version 10 updates as they happen, or as they're at least publicly released. I'll maybe try and uh, give you guys a few teaser bits as well as I see stuff come out on the beta. Um, I can't show you the beta of, of Evernote version 10, but I'll, I'll maybe sort of drop some hints here and there as I see uh, exciting new features arrive or uh, perhaps as some of our older beloved features start making a return. Anyway, I'm on a ramble already. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching Productivity in Real Life.